Ooh, good morning. Welcome to day number six of swing number four here in FIFO world. And it's a Tuesday morning and I've just set my alarm to 3 a.m. And now I'm going to go to do either a run or the gym. I went last night, which was good, but still trying to figure out what I'm eating how I'm going and mixing it all up with 12 hour days at work which obviously takes it out of you as well so we're gonna head off go for a run or gym see how we go split it up a bit uh, should be back by 4 a.m. go up to the mess get some lunch for the day and let's do it let's get into day number six of swing four here in the Pilbara a quick face wash for my head down there so I'm looking half uh, respectful definitely need a haircut a couple of greys coming through on the side but anyway let's head down for a run on the gym it really depends on if the lights are on for, on the footy oval I probably will just jog some laps get that H2O flowing through the body some good stuff the old H2O okay in the distance you can see the footy lights are on which means I'm gonna go for a run although unfortunately the sprinklers are on but hopefully that stops fairly shortly I'm gonna grab a footy and I'm gonna do some slow slow laps around the oval just down here on the footy oval as you can see the sprinklers are going uh, so look we're gonna aim for three kilometers we're just gonna get the heart rate ticking slow laps it's only a half size footy oval but it will do that's all you need is a green deck a good attitude fresh air and away we go I'm gonna use the Striver app and yeah just it's all about just giving it a go for me where I am in this point in my life and you know I enjoy working in the mines it's great like you got the gym you get fed you get a good wage all these things yes you got to sacrifice where you're from which is for me originally Melbourne Australia but you know what it's all good like I work with a good team and I enjoy my job it's a really good job and yeah so let's get into this run and um, let's see how fast and how far the aging 35 year old veteran can succeed let's go let's go let's go let's go three point three kilometer run jog complete for the morning just listen to the classic tunes 2000 trance tiesto silence absolute banger love these tunes so I have a ping at goal, and if I can get it, as the bass kicks in, the chorus, and get it, it's going to set up for a good day. It's going to drill this goal, and it's going to set up for a good day. Let's do it. Well, aren't you one sexy beast? Looking good, Winston. Absolutely looking fantastic. So I am Smick. Ready to rock and roll for another day, living the dream here in FIFO lands in the Pilbara. Let's get into it. This is my breakfast for this morning. I'm going to have some um, porridge and then I'm going to go next door where the cafe is, drop a coffee, and then that'll be me done until probably about one o'clock lunchtime. One thing I love about my job, and I love about the aesthetics of being where I am currently, which is the Pilbara, is the morning sunrise. So even though my truck is running, look at that. Beautiful sunrise. 
and that's what I'm blessed to each and every morning. So, day six, a little bit weary. Definitely need a coffee, I'm off. A day starting for the day, it's gonna be a busy one. So as you can see, just done my first spin of the day. I don't think I've shown you guys that, so that's how we do it. It's all remote based and um, yeah, it's a good start to day number six, but we've got a busy schedule ahead. So it's gonna get the job done and just keep going hard because these little steps help me get to where I want to get and that's good my YouTube channel while working hard at the same time. So as you've just seen, you would have seen two bins on the back of the truck. So this is what you call a double stack, which essentially means you are taking two bins in one. And how you do that is by hooking the bin on to the first bin, right? Lifting it up onto the body on the flatbed and then lowering that bin into the next bin. You've got to obviously level up the truck parallel, reverse it back, I guess nudge the other bin, just all that slightly get it nice and straight and then with the hydraulics and the remote control we basically lower it in and you get um, more efficient work so yeah because you are driving around these mine sites you got to sometimes travel up to 30 minutes to get to a job and that's i suppose to be economic efficient and get you know I suppose double the work done in one go. So what you just saw there was called a double stack. So I thought I'd just show you how big some of these heavy industrial tires are. The ones that go on the big dump trucks, the ones that pick up the iron ore, which gets sent off to China. So this is a tire rim, as you can see, steel. Just in this bin alone, there's probably in excess of 20,000 in scrap metal just in this bin alone and we'll give you a look at the dump trucks themselves over there in the distance you can see the big dumpies that do their business and what I find interesting are these tires these tires are absolutely huge made by Michelin tires and I'm six foot and I'm not even half the size of one of these tires so that just gives you a Good perspective of behind the scenes here in the Pilbara. Just arrived at the tip, and so I've got flies all around me. So that's another thing, flies are a big problem here in the Pilbara. You, you feel like um, you kill them all, and then there's just one that just continuously annoys you. But anyway, I'm here uh, at the steel dumping yard. I'm gonna dump the steel, and I'm gonna show you um, me dumping the steel, because it's a lot louder. Same process, same dump, but um, yeah, you'll notice uh, it's very loud when we dump off steel here in the steel yard. So check it out and I hope you enjoy. So after playing around for quite a while with the remote, I managed to get the hooks on the back and we're going to dump this bin now. Last job of the day, so in total today I've done nine jobs through all out the mining site here in the Pilbara and I'm getting more efficient with each and every job so just learning little tricks about how to manoeuvre my truck and reversing, just little tricks of the trade. As Dennis Pagan once said, you can't buy experience. Look, uh, last bin of the day, it's 10 past six and I'm off to the gym. Made a promise to myself in May that I'm going to really give it a red-eye crack. So here, despite the fact that I'm exhausted from work and I got up at 2.30 in the morning to go for a run, no excuses, it's only going to be half an hour and we'll get the job done. Just finished at the gym. And uh, now I'm just going to go to the mess, grab myself a steak or some um, chicken fillet. And then that's me done for the day. It's a little bit too late for the pool. But what an effort. 3 a.m. running, work 12 hours, and then into the gym. These are little new habits that I haven't done for a long, long time. Probably since 2018. Even back then I wasn't going to the gym. I was just running a lot, playing footy. So 
let's go check out the mess and see what food I can get. Well, that concludes today's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed each and every moment. I'm trying to give people an insight into the mining industry. Obviously, there's so many jobs all around the country. Uh, gold mines, iron ore, all sorts of things, all sorts of jobs, starting from cleaners to bar staff to shut staff, sparkies, plumbers, garbos such as myself. There's so many jobs to cater for pretty much anything and everything that you can imagine. So if you guys want to know anything more about um, trying to get a job in the mines, please hit me up, Winstone Travels at gmail.com. Take care, and I'll see you on the next adventure.